Welcome back RBG family and friends. Today we are in the RBG kitchen. We are going to be a vacuum sealing the chicken that we have in front of you. Today it has been a day. I've been busy. I've been a vacuum sealing a bunch of meat that I was able to haul at the uh, food bazaar uh, supermarket uh, that video should hopefully be up before this one if you haven't watched it please go ahead and enjoy it it was a shopping spree because that's exactly what i'm gonna call it um but it has been busy 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 with uh, this machine um and i just wanted to just bring you along uh just to show you the chicken so hopefully it won't be a long video since i already have already done all the other meats maybe at the end i'll just uh throw in a quick clip of everything that i already have done but i just wanted to show you um the machine since i already uh did show it to you but i didn't show it to you in action um it's not anything special but um i've had it for a couple of years and i really haven't shown it much love but now with inflation and all the prices going up you know i'm trying to um buy in bulk or starting to buy in bulk and i am giving it a lot of love so anywho's um now that i already um peeled the chicken from its skin because we don't like the chicken here whether it's boiled fried or in the oven roasted um we just get rid of all the extra fat as much as i can um pre um vacuum sealing it i'll do more processing it as um i'm ready to cook it but right now i just do like a once over and then go ahead and do what i need to do um it's pretty late here because i've been doing a lot um but we're gonna go ahead and do this just to give you guys a quick show and then we'll finish off so let's jump into this and let's go do this as you can see she's pretty simple um she has a seal so when you cut the bags you do the seal if the bags are pre-cut then you don't have to worry about that and then the green button is for vacuum and seal so it'll just vacuum all the air out and then just seal it the power is um just to let you know that it's on and ready to go um you have a little switch button right here and you'll see the power light go on and um it'll lock this down here it has a little thing in the middle and that's just for you to store it so when you stand it upright this won't open obviously mechanical error on my part and then when you have it here then at that point it is open um as i'm, I'm using it now so it's a little dirty but towards the end um i'll end up cleaning all of this mechanism here because sometimes juice will um come into this compartment here and you don't want it to get stuck so at the end of my usage i make sure that all of this here is clean you have instructions here on telling you how to uh, make a bag roll and all that good stuff how to vacuum seal and all that good stuff so it's kind of self-explanatory this one here comes with an access port so you can vacuum um seal mason jars and it came it came or it it does come with um the little cap um i have it somewhere here but um I really never actually put that to any use um maybe i should look for it because it might come handy to like vacuum uh seal uh some mason jars maybe with like flowers nuts and all that just to keep them nice and fresh so let's go ahead and jump into the chicken because once i'm done with this i have to get dinner ready so let's go ahead and do this now i have some that i already pre-made um when i was doing the other meat but well just for show and tell i guess if you will i'm gonna go ahead and do some more because i don't think those are gonna be enough i think i only have maybe three i think if i'm looking over my shoulder um and those i went ahead and cut five lines in these are the rolls that um i come a certain feet um long and a couple of inches in width um 
so what I like to do is I just like to count the lines in and then I make my cut straight across now it's not a straight line but it's okay who's checking on you right so what I like to do is I like to put literally 10 pieces of chicken in each bag and sometimes depends on how hungry each individual is 10 pieces of chicken is enough for the day and sometimes it's not most of the time which is almost all of the time I end up taking two of these bags out and that's okay because it's either if I'm making fried chicken I'm either frying all of them or if not I have grace to leave them seasoned and just fry the 10 and then I have the other 10 for the next day and if I'm not gonna fry them the next day then I'll just stick them in the oven and if you know me you know I like to do things once for two days so sometimes here I'll cook rice and I'll have rice for two days and I think that's amazing and if you think that's amazing man please comment in the comment section below because woo woo for when you cook once and you're good for two solid days I think that's amazing anywho so the other ones like I said I cut five lines in and um, when I was doing this last time I think five lines down was too big so I'm gonna try to do four lines down and see how that goes and just for the sake of the video I'm, I'm only going to do this once just to show you the machine and I just have my good old kitchen shears or kitchen scissors uh, here just fancy name <laughs> for them and that's pretty much how it looks and you know the way that this works is because it's a roll it's literally open on both sides so we have to go to the machine so let's go that way and I'm gonna set you up over there so you can see me just create the seal on this side and then we'll fill it up together okay so we are at the machine and I'm just literally just gonna open it up the bag I have it right here is as simple as just lining it up and um, this has this right here which heats up because it's heat activated obviously the heat is going to melt the plastic and that's going to create the seal so I'm going to pull the lever that's over here on this side to the prompt that says operate and it's going to light this here to power I'm going to hit the red button right here that says seal and the seal light is going to turn on so I have the power light on in green and the seal light in red once the seal light in red goes off then that means it's done sealing if you want to just leave it there for a couple of extra seconds just you know for headspace to make sure that it actually creates the seal you can I normally don't I normally just take the lever switch it back so it releases it and you lift it open and there you have your seal the camera is picking it up beautifully and if you just want to just double check now you can go ahead and open it and it is completely sealed you have an amazing seal there now you can go ahead and fill your bag so we're gonna go over there back to the chicken and start filling it up so we can come back and vacuum seal all right I'm back so I went ahead and filled it up so since this is a uh, quarter legs and I literally cut them in half so you have the thigh and the leg and um, I was thinking four is enough let's see hopefully it vacuums and seals but um, these chickens um, have proven me a little bit wrong they are on uh, the thick side like they are big so let's see this one at four and then we'll try one at five and um we'll see which size we choose so now since it's completely full what we do i mean it'll seal because you don't want too much space in the bag either because then what happens is it leaves air in there so now what i'm doing is i'm doing the same thing as if um 
I was creating the seal. Instead, now I'm going to vacuum and seal at the same time. So I'm going to line it up again. I'm going to clamp it down. And as you know, I have my gloves because I don't like touching meat. So I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to clamp it. So I'm pulling the lever so you can see that the uh, green light is on. Instead of pressing the red button, which is the seal, I'm going to press the green one, which says vacuum and seal. And that light is going to go on. And um, pardon the ears. I'm warning you in advance. It's not that it's completely loud, but sometimes people have sensitive ears. So ready? One, two, three. And now we have all three lights on. It stopped ex extracting the air and now it's currently sealing it. And now both lights are off, which means it is done with the process. And you can go ahead and take the lever down. It unlocks it so you can lift it. And as you see right there, your package is vacuumed and it is sealed there. Now you go ahead and I'm gonna remove these gloves. You go ahead with your Sharpie. Make sure you put your date on. You always want to label. Today is the 1st of April. Happy Fool's Day. For all those of you guys that like to play joke on people. You label it right there. Looks backwards on your screen, but I'm sure, you know, once the video uploads, I hope it'll turn it back around. And there you go. So it looks like the four lines worked, um, but I like to live on the safer side. So I'll probably end up doing five lines just to have a little bit of headspace just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the process. And then at the end of the video, I'll probably pull everything out of the freezer, which might I say is full and I'm happy. Um, just to show you uh, the whole process that I've been doing today, because this mom has been very busy and she's very tired. Um, and I'll show you the spread and then um, I'll show you how full my freezer is, well, my deep freezer. Um, it's not um, a freezer that's a stand up. It's a deep freezer like, um, you know, the standard uh, regular freezer. So there's really no type of organization. Um, I just make sure that everything's just laying flat. And then from there, when I want something, I just kind of rummage through stuff and get what I need and what I want um, as long as, you know, everything is semi neat. So yeah, so I'll take you through that process when I am there. All right, so I completed the task. I am completely done with um, a vacuum sealing the chicken and I am done with everything. I clean the food saver. It is currently drying and ready to put away soon. And I put all the bags away and everything. Um, everything was in the deep freezer minus the chicken that i just finished doing so i pulled everything out as i stated i was going to do because i had to dig stuff out um because the old stuff was in the bottom and um i want this new stuff to go in the bottom and the old stuff to go on the top so i can use that first and this last obviously so from the food bazaar haul i'm hoping you saw that video already um, or first if you haven't once again go see it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it um, I ended up with nine food saver bags of uh, Chicken and that would be pieces between a drumstick and thighs These are all of them right here and some type of array. So I'm making you guys dizzy 
I ended up with uh, three food saver bags of chicken breasts. Now, they are on the thick side, so I can definitely uh, skin them down to thinner size, or these will be chopped up um, to be used in chicken alfredo, to be used in tacos. I mean, the recipes are endless with these guys. And then I ended up with seven packs of pork chops and these again you know here in this Puerto Rican household we mainly use these guys with stews and or fried but you know um, I want to increase our taste buds so I'm looking for recipes if you guys know any please comment in the section below and let us know what we can do with all this uh, food because we need to increase our taste buds and then from there um, we have our steaks and we ended up with eight of them um, eight food saver bags so we are doing phenomenal um, and this is in addition to what we already had in our um, freezer and I'll give you a show of that we still had um, our ribs here from Butcher Box. I mean, guys, I love these things. These are the St. Louis style ribs and they are in halves. Um, I also have the baby back ones, but I don't think, um, I don't think I have any of those left. Um, oh, no, I lied to you. I'm always lying to you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. These are amazing as well. Um, I usually like to get both of them um, and I, I always get about anywhere between five to ten of each yeah when I get my boxes they're um, up there in price but I haven't gotten a box in a while because you know like I'm saying penny pinching um, but these guys are delish um, so I have five of those left and they're amazing um, in this haul that hopefully you guys already saw I got fish but um, I still had some left of the Swahi. I hope that's the way that I'm saying. These are leftover um, ribs from the last Western Beef haul um, that I had uh, left over. So that'll be in addition to what I already have. This one as well, but um, this one, I don't know if it made it to a haul, but this one never actually made it into a freezer bag. Um, a food saver bag but um, we have to use this one first this is uh, the chicken that I also um, hauled that that Western beef haul um, this is actually two in one they're just frozen together so definitely have to use that one first and guys this is the freezer that I have and as you can see it's frozen um, down there I have some little green stuff I'm gonna have to clean it before I put all of this back so <laughs> This mama's not done so I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned um, and put all my stuff back as you can see there we have some hot dogs stuff right there that's ground beef um, we have some shrimp and that was from our Amazon fresh haul as you can see I mean I can't lie to you it says fresh literally right there and these are the stuff that I hauled in food bazaar all the fish um, if you've seen that video you know you know and the chicken nuggets um, so yeah this is pretty much what it is in my freezer not that um pretty much the video I think that's what I'm gonna call this video guys what is in my deep freezer um anyway guys uh, there you have it um yeah it's been a long day it's been a long day between hauls and getting all of this put up to go into the deep freezer um, so my family can have a uh, food security for uh, the next coming weeks um, yeah, I am tired and um, I still have to cook dinner. I, I, I look at the time. I don't know if you guys can tell the time. Let's get a little closer. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 647. Ay! <laughs> Estoy cansada. Um, so let me let you guys go. Um, that's it.
it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed um i love watching videos like this so that's why i enjoy making them so as always guys please like comment and share also subscribe if you like what you see if you like what you are enjoying it's gonna help us uh grow within this wonderful community it's gonna help our algorithm so that youtube can um recommend us to other people and so we can grow and as always guys you know that we love you guys you are an extended family and friends and we will see you guys on our next video bye